Hello, everybody, and welcome. My name is Alex. Welcome to the Grotto Show. We're going to be playing Starfield. So this is uh, part of a series of videos called An Evening Espresso with Alex. Uh, the idea is that I kind of make an, exp an espresso, and that's kind of how I relax uh, at night. And so what I wanted to do is have my espresso and record this video and the idea is that it's just supposed to be something kind of relaxing super casual um and it's going to be a mini series or maybe like uh, even just a one-off episode of something i want to play and it's kind of a way where we can experiment to see what we want to keep playing or keep making a series of and i actually feel like starfield is going to be one that i want to keep moving forward with uh, because I'm quite interested in this. Uh, honestly, I haven't looked at much of the game, but um, I'm. it's like I wanted to play Skyrim, and so I've seen that this is supposed to be like kind of like Skyrim in space. Um, and so because of that, uh, I think I'll play it for a little bit, um, and I might as well do it on recording. So um, anyway, let's get down into it. We're, we're going in pretty much entirely blind, so we'll make a new game here. And we'll, we'll see where we end up. Seals are good. Oxygen's good. Just do what you did last time, and you're fine. Follow my one simple rule. Hella, what's oh my boy. one simple Listen rule? Listen to Lynn. Boss lady knows best. Exactly. Listen to me. Mining's just like any other job. Go steady. Go safe. Go home with a pocket full of credits at the end of the day. Yeah, totally. It's just like, um, yeah, I work in the star dock. Except uh, with more cave-ins, lasers, and accidental dismantling. She's kind of standing a little Very bit close helpful. to me, huh? Thank you. Ah, you're going to be fine. Your first outing was solid. And, you know, let's be honest, it ain't exactly astrophysics. That's why I keep him around. Good pep talks. Yeah. And the fact that I can pinpoint a helium deposit from 300 meters. <laughs> Not untrue. A shame we won't find any down here. But the metal deposits alone should pay for our own helium. Hell, after this, we'll have enough jump fuel to bounce from one end of the settled systems to the next. Hey, more minerals, more money. And so the cycle repeats itself. Just no more unauthorized jumps in a house for room space, okay? He's just a big baby. There are worse lives. You know, most Dusties don't even make it this far. I have a good... Dusties? I'm a Dusties? Now we're at the end of the shift. <sighs> one of these days, Hella, I am going to leave you behind. Promises, promises. So I guess I'm on some elevator. I guess we're like mining people or something. Okay, let's see what we've got. How are we on time? A uh, little longer. You grab some samples? Always. Uh, but not you. Check on Isabel. Ooh. Sure she up on the this looks like, like something alive. Roger that. Remember, Dusty. Keep Laser mining. Steady, and never take that helmet off down here. Oxygen processors don't extend this far. Yeah. God forbid we drill on a rock with breathable atmosphere. You know what I love about working? Oh, I can jump. Kind of weirdly. I guess I should go and listen to her. Oh, she's just gonna wait for me. Yeah, so I guess I will be following. Oh, they're busy.
Let's go. Ooh, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that's bending. You make your cut, you get your cut. No exceptions. Come on, pick it up. Troy, what's the yield? Minimal at this point. Occasional glimmer, but it's weak. What do you think? Stay the course? No, ma'am. Juice ain't worth the squeeze. Well, okay then. Juice ain't you worth the squeeze. Why don't you move over to that big bay we looked at? Yes, ma'am. Running through these bays pretty quick. Are there secrets in this game like that I'm missing, I wonder? I mean, there's this whole area. Minor. I guess I didn't name that join. one. Fall for the fancy pamphlets? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Can I do anything? Oh, I gotta grab a cutter. I gotta get to work, I guess. Cutter crate. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. So I was supposed to go in here. Oh, now I'm moving much faster. Ooh, and I can sprint, too. Well, you told me to go mining, so I'm going mining. You're with me. Do I keep this thing? Gonna put it away? This monstrosity. Yeah, about that. Problem? Uh, not if you consider a spike in gravity readings a problem. Huh? I don't. You don't? What we're after? It'll read as an anomaly. That's what I was told anyway. Okay, now you're starting to freak me out. Relax. It's just another job. Come on. Oh. We're getting close, I think. Yeah, everything is just... <laughs> Lynn, seriously, uh, there's something really effed up about this. Where is it, Hella? Through there, I think. Okay, you, you're up. Something goes wrong in there, we'll come get you. What? Uh, why would anything go wrong? Would you shut up? Both of you do your jobs. Client is on his way. So my job is to be the human sacrifice? I, 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 don't, I don't know if I like that. Old F. Oh, okay. Um, still getting weird gravity readings. I'm not feeling weird for gravity. Just keep going. Do you see anything? Yeah. Okay, now I see weird gravity stuff. What is that? Oh. Boy, okay. I guess that my mind didn't really like that so much. Hey, come on. Come on. Okay, take it easy. You were out cold. Uh, no physical damage. Mentally, the jury's still out. <laughs> you know who you are? New recruit for Argos Extractors? Ring any bells? 
Any of this look familiar? Oh. Oh, so now I get to design my guy. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is like a slider bar? Oh, okay. So far, it's looking like I'm going to be number one. Ooh. Or number 11. Uh, number 29's not bad. Oh, 33. That might be the move. I think it might be 33. Uh, muscular... Heavy. Okay. Body type one or two. Oh, so that's male or female. <laughs> that's the, okay. Uh, we're good with the skin tone. Head shapes. Okay. Uh, hair. 25 is actually pretty good for hair. Oops. Hair color will go dark. And then facial hair. We need something a little bit more beardly. Ooh. 19. Yeah, 19 it is. Eyes. Let's go with those eyebrows. Jewelry. Oh, is it just like piercings? I was hoping for like um, glasses or something. And I think we're good with that. Oh yeah, there we go. And then background. Let's see. So, from the Ashta of Aquila to the Terror Morse that plagued the... Oh. Oh, wow. So there's a lot here. Oh, man. Okay, so... It seems like there's skills that we'll start with based on which one of these we pick. So what do we want... Fitness, ballistics, gastronomy, fitness, security, boxing, piloting, targeting, and boost pack, medic, runner, ooh, for a combatant who values discretion above all else, the ability to approach a target while undetected and kill with a silenced weapon, weapon is as terrifying as it is effective. And then security, we can break into stuff. So that's like a thief. I think I might be leaning towards that one. Cyberneticist. Explorer. Oh, a diplomat could be cool, though. Sculptor. Huh. Masterless and unbound, you wanted to settle systems as a blade for hire. To some, you were a simple mercenary, to others, a hero. To a select few, a nightmare. Maybe I'd do that one. Although I want to be like a gun 
user. I think I want to do that. Then traits. So. Oh, there's a few. So alien DNA, you volunteered as a controversial experiment that combines alien and human DNA. You start with increased health and oxygen. Healing and food isn't effective. $125,000 or credit mortgage that has to be paid weekly. Oh, you own a customizable house? Okay. Uh, that's combat effectiveness for doing stuff people like. Extrovert. Collective Settler. You gain access to special Freestar Collective dialogue options and better rewards from some missions given by the faction, but crime bounty towards other factions is greatly increased. Hero Worshipped. You've earned the attention of an annoying, adoring fan who will show up randomly and jabber at you incessantly. He'll join your ship's crew and give you gifts. Introvert uh, kid stuff. You'll automatically send 2% of your credits home to your parents every week. You can visit them at your home. Okay. Neon Street Rat. You grew up on the mean streets of Neon. You gain access to special dialogue options and better rewards for missions on Neon. Uh, raised Enlightened. Grew up as a member of the Enlightened. You gain access to a special chest full of items in the House of the Enlightened in New Atlantis, but lose access to the Sanctum Universum chest. Okay. And then Raised Universal is just the opposite of that. Serpent's Embrace. Um, grav Jumping provides a boost to health and oxygen. But you have to <laughs> jump a lot. Okay. Health and oxygen are increased when in space, but decrease when on surface. Taskmaster. System will automatically repair itself to full health whenever it is damaged below 50%. All crew cost twice as much to hire. Uh, health and oxygen. So that's the opposite of spaced. United Colonies native. Wanted. Um, when your health is real low, you do extra damage. Okay. So I think I'm going to go with... Raised, enlightened, and I don't know. Um, I guess Neon Street Rat, I don't know, and Spaced. Ooh, name. What should we call him? We will call him Alex. That's my name. Alex. Name character. Oh, Alex. Name character confirmed. You were one of the weirdest hires I've ever had. From hacking computers to digging for minerals. You're lucky our turnover rate is so high. Well, you got the sample. Client's on his way. Then we all get paid. Do you remember anything that happened? There was a slight and music. It was incredible, like a dream or a vision. Everything's blank after I went into that tunnel. Uh, what is that thing? It's our payday, that's what. The sooner we get it off our hands, the sooner it isn't our problem anymore. Okay. Everything's a blank. Well, it makes the paperwork easier, and we got what we were looking for. All this trouble for that stupid thing? Huh. Sure don't look like much. Never mind what it looks like. It's worth more than this mine has pulled in all month. We'll be... What was that? Speak of the devil. Press mouse three. Oh. Our 
Constellation contact is on approach. Wait, the explorer's group? Thringe. Thringe. Not a joke. Scalpel. You're just too young to know better. Hey, I'm just saying they got a red soul. Thringe. Do I need this stuff? A bucket? Whoa. You don't look the thing. You got a few more digs to go before I feel like talking to you back now. Wonder what that did. Sports bottle, space undersuit. I'll take that. You lucked out being picked up for this one. Cred stick. Personal log. Okay, so we're just trying to figure out what she's after down here, I guess. Lynn sure seems to like you. Guess she would know. Tell you what, I don't like is this beeping. Supervisor's log supplemental. Still day two of Argos Extractor's Vectera dig. Restart collective claim ID beta seven five four eight alpha. As far as anyone knows, this is just another all run. Vectera's got enough mid level veins to keep everyone working and not asking questions. I've told Hella everything he needs to know, which is pretty much everything I know. But this is another one of Barrett's special. Do I need these playing cards? He made He's good with the payment for the doll, even if it was a bust. This time, I'm not so All right, sure. Dustin. Play Get off. Get your the helmet on. Equip a helmet, okay. I think we're going to find something. Press tab. I just have no Lower idea. Lower right. Helmets. Those sweet constellation credits. There we go. We dig our holes and keep our mouths shut. And I'm okay with that. Hopefully, between Barrett's mysterious and the old itself, we'll be done with this rock. Oh, so this is the planet. Ooh. Oh, okay. I guess I shouldn't have done that, probably. People are a little bit defensive about. Ooh. Why is he standing there like that? Do I need to, uh, how do I 
put away a weapon. Let's see if I can find it in the controls. No. Bindings. Uh, sheath is R. There we go. Look at that little robot guy. Wow, he looks incredible. Guess you could call it that. How would you know about that? Well, you could say that the infinite possibilities of the universe are full of everything but coincidences. Okay, you could call it that. <laughs> that fun, huh? Not the most gentle push into the great mysteries of space, but hey, been there. So can you just hand over the credits, and I'll be happy to never see this thing. Or you ever again. Ooh. That's why I like you, Lynn. All this. Barrett, the scanners on the frontier are reporting a ship coming in He's talking. from orbit. Uh oh. You brought people here? Oh boy, hold off. The pirates. How do I... Oh boy. Oh. Credits. Switch. Uh oh. I guess I need to equip, uh... Weapons? I'm just gonna kill these people? Oh. hits. Oh, no. Do I need to loot people? Oh, I do. Okay. Am I about to join this guy's crew? The artifact, right? That means you saw it. The visions. You're coming with me to Constellation. You're part of this now. Um. She'll take me off. Uh. Hmm. I want to know what that is. No. You think you're just going to take off after the mess you caused? All right. I guess I did just put you all on the Crimson Fleet hit list. How about I stay and I send your Dusty here in my place? I, 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 I know, I know, but he's not some miner anymore, Lynn. Soon as he touched that rock, something changed. 
Don't tell me you can't feel it. Fine. It's a deal. Get out of here, Dusty. You're on to bigger things. Um... Thanks for everything. Let's go. Before I say something I regret. Bye. Well, none of that settled. I wasn't a miner for very long. It's the like the four rocks I blew up with a laser. Absolutely necessary, okay? Protocol Indigo. Indigo. Again. Very well. Oh, and again. Hey, take this. You'll find it very useful out there. And what do you mean again? A watch? I may have seen one of these before. Hey, look at that. The watch fits you perfectly. Now, questions? Uh, why send me? Shouldn't you go? You really not at all curious about that? Because if you oh, I can't skip dialogue. Okay. Handling it since with no problem. The way I see it, Constellation needs that artifact, but they also need. This mystery is only getting bigger each step we take. And you're part of it now. You're giving me your ship? Consider it alone. Oh, I get the ship. Vasco will keep you on course. Besides, I'm making an exception since you can tell Constellation about that vision. Okay. Uh, what did we that dig up? A million credit question. And Constellation can find the answer. Who are you? See, that's the problem with the settled systems. Too easy to take everything for granted. While everyone else is busy playing politics, we're the ones braving the unknown, charting the vastness of space. Without us, the galaxy is just a big room with the lights turned out. Why was the Cl Crimson Fleet after them, you? Like pirates do. And I have something of a reputation as a... Oh, I've had it with these looters. And Vasco, don't let him break my ship. He, I mean, that is like the most inefficient robot I think you could ever imagine. But I do want to get on this ship. Oh, look, I have the watch now in the bottom left. Okay. Free watch is a gift. Nice. Um, board. Okay, nice. Whoa, it knows my name. Like, it actually said the name properly. A uh, bitten sandwich. Research station. The research lab lets you discover new crafting recipes by completing research projects. Each research project requires materials in order to make progress. The materials needed can range from raw minerals extracted from planets to organic substances extracted from alien creatures and plant life to manufactured components that can be made at an industrial work branch bench. Okay. Weaponry. Oh, so this is the required stuff. Okay, interesting. Um... Don't use. This looks like a ship for like a lot more than just one person. To learn astronomer course. Oh. Do I get to fly now? Oh boy. Shields ready. The rest is up to you. Shields ready, the rest is up to you. Okay, let's take off. Oh. Oh. Nice.
Okay, so now this... Now that we are in orbit, it might be wise to test all controls and systems to ensure they are not on the verge of catastrophic failure. I can step you through the entire process, or if you're already an experienced Whoa. pilot, just power up all the systems and we'll be on our way. Hold left alt and use WASD to switch between systems and allocate power. Okay. Oh, I see in the bottom left. Okay, done. Boost can be engaged for temporary bursts of speed. Let's turn our attention to the huh. shields. All right. Try adjusting power to the shields. Notice more power increases their strength. Shields protect the ship from hull damage. Without a hull, but be vaporized. Shield health is displayed in the lower right. Hull damage is below it. So you can turn off shields. Okay. Or we can do shields at maximum. You've proven an adequate pilot. Are you Oops. familiar with ship combat tactics? Oh. How do I fire a missile? Oh, G. Okay, there. The oh, nice. Shoot, I almost crashed into it. How about that? <clears throat> All right, interesting. So then how do I get out of the lock-on? Oh, whoa. He nearly hit me just then. Easy. Easy, easy. All right. Bouncing off of their pieces. They are after the frontier and will not stop. We will need to deal with the local Crimson Fleet captain. A recent scan indicates an abandoned facility on the near 
Okay, so we need to talk to the captain. Nice, okay. Press tab to open the data menu from there. You can open the star map. Star map. Okay. Now, toggle which quest is tracked on your HUD. Only one quest can be tracked at a time. Select the name of the quest to expand the list of open objectives. Select any. Okay. So we need to travel to Crete. Which is here. Yes. Okay. So I guess this is like light speed jump or something. Nice. We have arrived in orbit. The abandoned facility with our Crimson Fleet captain is on the surface. So how do I get down to the surface? Do I have to go to the star map? The planet view gives you information about the environment. Let's you scan the planet for resources and help you discover key landing sites. Rotate the planet until the research lab is in view. Okay and hit land. Oh, it's some kind of sand. Some kind of Mars world. Okay, so now we exit. We're on the world. I don't like his hands. Pretty gross. Anyway, okay, so this planet looks pretty wacky. I think before we explore any further, we're actually going to call it here, and then we will explore a little bit more next time. This will definitely just be like part one. Um, we'll have a few different parts, and we'll see. Maybe we'll do a full-size series out of it. But for now, thank you all for watching. Remember to hit the follow button on YouTube and never miss a show. And you can also watch me on Twitch every night uh, at around 11. Hit the follow button on there. It's twitch.tv slash the grotto show. And I'm also available on Twitter. I put out a tweet anytime I go live or whenever there's a video live or posted. So that is twitter.com slash the grotto show. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.